So for the guys listening, can I talk us through the story? So you've climbed, climbed Ben Nevis, hundred kilos on your back. Yeah. So it ca- so it came about you were you were looking to do something for charity, and that's pretty much where it snowballed from yeah, there. Yeah, I, I think I just I, I, I just decided I, I'd spoke about it about a year. Well, we having it six months after, so about a year and a half ago, about a year before I actually started training and put the word out for it, I spoke about it to to a couple of. Uh, close friends and, and my wife and it wasn't the right time the, the, it, was, it was too too much work I couldn't commit to the training for it but I thought I'm, I'm going to do it sooner or later uh, and then things calmed down with work and whatever else and then the turn of the year I thought it has to be during the summer one, months for the weather and yeah. the, the daylight um, and then I just decided I decided that I was going to do it in the summer I was going to do it on my birthday um, and I wanted to do it for the My Name's Doddy Foundation which is the more neuron disease charity that was set up by Doddy or the late Doddy Rear upon his diagnosis. Um, I don't know if you know much about so I read, I, ran, so. I ran into it before it, but I think you're probably better to tap into like what is that and what is the chance? Because there's no cure for it and there's no there's little to no treatment for it. There's very little treatment. Yeah. There's very, very little treatment and it doesn't really do anything. It makes you more comfortable and it, it maybe prolongs your movement to an extent. It doesn't prolong your life. Yeah. Uh, so it's totally incurable. Any any motor neuron disease diagnosis is a death sentence. Um, but it's basically the nerves between your brain and your muscles die. Mm-hmm. They just they start, they start to deteriorate and they die. But in the vast majority of cases, your brain still fully functioning. They're trying to send the signals to your muscles to, to eat, to drink, to, to cuddle your children, your wife, whatever it may be, to walk. And slowly but surely each of them just start getting shut away, yeah. shut away, shut away. But you're fully aware of everything that, that's that going on. That got, was that, was he in his 50s when he, when he just... Yeah, so I think, I, he was in, I don't want to make a mistake, I think he, he was in his 50s when he passed away. So he actually lasted pretty long with it. He lasted just shy of five years, I think. Um, the average is about two years. Was oh, it? Is it that uh, quick? It's well, that quick, and some people die within a few months. Um, did they know where it even comes from, or what, no, what the prompt no, is? They know, it's, they, they know that it's, uh, there's hereditary as well so you if you have a family member that's been diagnosed with it before then you're more likely and there's a lot of studies getting done because it seems to affect people that are or have been pretty fit in their life so i don't think there's many cases if any where they've been disrespectful but we're like a really obese overweight couch potato lethargic yeah. kind of person that doesn't tax their nervous system i was gonna say i wonder um, if that's got that part mean, to play. And, and there's a lot of studies ongoing uh with regards to, is it, is it just through people putting too much pressure on their nervous system? Mm-hmm. Um, too many deadlifts. Yes, too many deadlifts. Man, my nervous system's uh, fried, uh, I know. And and I fried. That, that would actually, it would make sense when you think yeah, about it, because we, we, it's a stress that we send to our body, and if we're consistently hammering that, yeah. especially athletes, for yeah. example. Yeah. Um, but aye, that would make sense. I mean, the, the, there's been links to whether it's because uh, rugby's in the, in the kind of media with Doddy Weir and Rob Burrows and that as well. That there is, is it actually like like trauma i had head like trauma. head or just trauma to the body and stuff as well but you need to wait till the findings are, are released yeah. beforehand so, so i seen i seen a lot i seen so many i looked at the donations and that that was on there a lot of people donating because they've had people in their lives that's yeah. been affected with that so an amazing cause that you, yeah. you had decided to do this so-